Now let's talk about uh, another associated technology, which is called Internet of Vehicles. Okay. Now, what is the idea behind the Internet of Vehicles? The idea behind the Internet of Vehicles is: Can we make the connectivity between the vehicles, and can they communicate with each other? Is it possible? So, yeah, it is possible with the help of this technology, which is called Internet of Vehicles, where the Internet of Thing. and the thing here will be the cars right so the car are the thing and that will put the uh, the sensors different type of sensor which might tell the vehicles uh, condition uh, what what are the speed where it is going what is the location everything will be uh, will be generated by those sensors and they can communicate uh, with another vehicle for uh, and they can exchange the data for better traffic management or advanced traffic management and it is very much famous the internet of vehicles are very much famous among the project of autonomous vehicles where we are talking about driverless car right so it can be possible with this particular technology let's talk about it the new era of internet of thing is driving the evolution of convenient uh, vehicle or hot network into the internet of vehicles now it is saying that previously we have the uh, we have this technology called vehicle or hot network or the vnet okay so what is that vnet is uh, vehicle or hot network is providing the connectivity of the vehicles locally and now we are talking about global connectivity and it is possible with iov that is internet of vehicles with the rapid development of computing and communication technology iov uh, promises huge commercial interest and research value thereby attracting a large number of company and the researchers uh, iov turns vehicle into the road in, uh, into moving uh, uh, wireless access points providing wireless connectivity to other vehicles and human in their vehicle so the vnet that is vehicular ad hoc network is used in the local network means to communicate with one uh, uh, one uh, vehicle to another vehicle for that still we can use the vnet but the global connectivity if we want to make so for that we have to have the facility of iob this vnet turns every participant vehicle into the wireless router or mobile node enable vehicle to connect to each other and in turn create a network with a wide range next a vehicle fall out of the signal range and drop out of the network other vehicle can join it connecting vehicles uh, Uh, to one another to create mobile network uh, we determine that vnet only cover a very small mobile network that is subject to mobility constraint and number of connected vehicles so it is talking about what is vnet and what is the limitation so the what is vnet vnet is providing the connectivity with the vehicles uh, locally right so sometime what will happen is because all these uh, vehicles are mobile right so maybe they are moving into different direction as well as different speed so they will make the connectivity in a in a particular uh, for a particular duration as well as the joining and leaving the network is very frequent in the vnet and it is uh, fulfilling the requirement with uh, in a very small area or only the communication area you can see so what is the communication of area of a of a sys of a um, vehicle that will work on that only but we if we require the global connectivity we require the uh, technology like iov several characteristics uh, characteristics of large cities such as traffic jams tall building bad driver behaviors complex road network further hinder its use therefore for when at the object involved are temporary random and unstable and large usage of local uh, and discrete that is when it cannot provide whole or the global 
and sustainable service application for the customers. So that is showing the limitation of Venet. That in the cities where we are facing the traffic jam or we have the tall buildings, bad driver behavior, complex road, uh, to fulfill the requirement of the traffic or the smart traffic management, the Venet is not going to fulfill the requirement. In contrast of Venet, IOV has two main technology directions, vehicle network and vehicle intelligence, right? So we, we provide the vehicle network, which is still have the VANET. It's called vehicle interconnections, vehicle telemet uh, telematics, uh, also called connected vehicles and mobile internet. Vehicle is as a wheeled mobile terminal. So with that, we can provide the networking. So we can use VANET, we can use uh, vehicle uh, telematics, or we can use mobile internet um, technology for the vehicle connectivity. Now, what about vehicle intelligence? So vehicle intelligence is that the integration of driver and vehicle as a, uh, as a unit is more intelligent uh, by using network technology, which provides to the deep learning uh, cognitive computing, SOM computing, artificial intelligence, et cetera. So what we do is uh, we try to collect the data uh, from the vehicle through the user. So because users are, are there in the vehicle, they are connected with the internet, with their mobiles. So these data which are generated by the vehicle can send the data to the cloud using the mobile which is providing the internet connectivity or in some vehicle, if they are providing the internet connectivity, they can directly send the data to the cloud. And in the cloud, we can use some different machine learning or AI technique to analyze the data and to get the result, which will help further in traffic management or the applications like autonomous vehicles. So the IOV focus on intelligent integration of human vehicle things and environment and is a large network that provides service for large cities or even a whole country. IOV is an open and integrated network system with high manageability, controllable uh, operation and credible and is composed of multiple user, multiple vehicle, multiple thing and multiple network. So it can have heterogeneous you can say heterogeneous users are there heterogeneous vehicles are there heterogeneous things uh, or different type of um, sensors will be there or we have multiple network like vnet or uh, vehicle telemetry or mobile network or any type of other network we can integrate and we can get or generate the data also we can do the communication uh, the, the, the reverse communication also can be done. The internet of vehicle is a communication system between vehicle and public network. This communication system gather data about the movement of the vehicle, uh, which can result in the creation of different mobile uh, application services. Many public transportation companies already use the IOV in order to check the route uh, bus drivers use this can also uh, provide the user with uh, practical information such as the expected arrival of bus to a particular uh, stop. A long-term goal of the internet of vehicle is a system of interconnected car that can drive uh, autonomously means driverless car by using data from the roads and other car in the road. Apple uh, CarPlay or Google uh, Android Auto are the first step towards the goal. So these are the some of the uh, project which are uh, which are there, and they are working on IOV. Um, it is not like only these two company are working in autonomous vehicle. There are a lot of company who are uh, who are uh, in the in this particular technologies who are trying to develop the driverless car which will use the IOV technology, right? This 
is an example of mobus here we have in the in the bhubaneswar city we have the uh, urban transportation uh, buses which are uh, which are running and it will use the iov for getting the routes to 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 tell you that how, what are the expected arrival time of the buses for a particular stop or to reach to your destination right so that facility is already there um, by connecting those uh, vehicles to each other and doing the processing of the data into the cloud and giving the result to you the applications are these passenger safety collision detection and collision warning autonomous driving smooth collaboration of vehicle through intersections provide improvements in fuel efficiency fuel uh, uh, vehicle uh, uh, wearing travel time and traffic flow so these are some applications related to iov this is the infrastructure of iov if you can see here we have the thing and human connectivity in the in the vehicle uh, we have uh, interaction between vehicle and thing and interaction between human and vehicles uh, we can make this as a lower level it generates the data it also receive the data hmm. interconnection between the human and the environment this is the integrated network we have different type of network like uh, as we have discussed in venet the regular adag network we have a small small network and these in small small network can integrate with each other uh, with the help of some model and here we have individual model means individual car or individual vehicle which is and interact with the global network and uh, we can do the processing with the help of the cloud and different machine learning algo uh, machine learning tools and we can give the result to the human or the thing or the car directly or give the command to the car directly to move in that particular direction to stop or to um, to uh, go in that particular speed in that way we can give the commands to it also so this is how your io will look like uh, this is the uh, more you can say the easy uh, infrastructure or uh, easy way to understand the infrastructure we have vehicles vehicle are talking to each other uh, then we have uh, these uh, devices which are having the connectivity this is showing the connectivity how they are connecting to each other and they are sending the data to the cloud and this is how it look like in the cloud 